What's up guys? Back with another video. So, in the last video I installed motor mount inserts for my 2000 Civic Si. I put the energy suspension inserts in first and then while I was in there I also replaced the remaining motor mounts with Prothane uh, polyurethane mounts. So all the mounts that are connected to the engine are now fully fully inserted for lack of a better word and um, here's my impressions of it. So right off the bat the car the engine feels way more connected to the chassis. In startup there is a distinct rumble that the car has. The car itself has a little bit more cabin noise now because the resonance kind of goes through the mounts into the cabin at this point. So the exhaust note feels a little bit louder and low idle shutters are pretty loud. Um, I think for the average person, the energy suspension mounts are perfect. They have just enough give to where it's a, it's a nice happy medium. So you don't feel that much loss of comfort from it. But with the Pro Thing's uh, addition to it, it does feel really aggressive, which I like. If you have a car that has like has no balls. Um, putting these in, putting motor mount inserts in, or even um, filling them and making your own um, inserts from polyurethane and leaving it overnight, even though you, even that will make it feel like you're driving a much more aggressive car. The response is a lot better. There's is like almost nil. I don't think I need any sort of engine damper because at this point there's there's so little movement right now that there's no need for it. From the camera you're probably gonna pick up a lot of vibrations and that's from the the new mounts. From what I can tell the hood was rattling at a certain point but I think it's settled out and when you really notice the mounts during um, when your AC clutch kicks in it drops your RPMs a little bit, and from that, it just shakes the car a lot more. So there's a lot. Of, there's, there's a very visceral and raw feel to that. So if you like that from a car, if you just want a more exciting daily driver, um, this is something you might want to consider. To me, I drove a car. I, I daily in a car that had well, that had this exact setup for a long time, and I kind of got used to it. I think the car 
definitely improved from the modification. It was a little bit more raw than I initially anticipated, but I got used to it rather quickly. So. It does shake a lot. I will not lie. Um, you can feel it a lot through the steering wheel and maybe even the gas pedal, but once you pick up speed, you don't even really notice it. You really only notice it during um, when you come to a stop and like low speed stuff. Once you actually pick up speed, you tend to forget about it. But when you put your foot down or something, you definitely feel that uh, locked. There's no 